Let's begin with the messages pattern or the message pattern. The idea of the message pattern is to encapsulate information in a standardized way. This may look like this. We have a sender and a receiver. And the sender has some data which he wants to send over to the receiver. The idea of the message pattern now is to pack this data into a message in a standardized format. We have a header and a body and the data comes into the body. But a message is more than just the pure data. It also contains this metadata, which is contained in the header portion of the message. When the sender has packed together its message, this message will be sent over the network or over the internet and it will somehow reach a receiver. We will talk about how this in between works in later patterns. The task of the receiver now is, he gets this message and based on the metadata in the header, so he has to read the header and look what is in there, how big is the message, which format, which version and so on. And after knowing this, he can unpack the body portion into the data again. And then the receiver can use this data for further processing. This is the basic idea of message. What are the benefits? A message combines normal usage data and metadata. It has an explicitly defined format and protocol, how to read it, how to write it, how to interpret it. And it's an enclosed packet instead of a continuous data stream, which is sent over the network. It's a separate unit of work, which can be stored, which can be buffered and so on. The metadata in the header allow for extra functionality. For example, prioritization or a version switch. What are the drawbacks? The serialization and deserialization of messages involve some computation overhead. Think of serializing your objects into XML and interpreting this XML file again. This takes some time. Also, the protocol could involve some communication overhead. The used protocol for sending these messages could have some unnecessary data in between. For example, an order. You are sending 10 objects and you don't care about in which order they arrive, but many protocols ensure that they arrive in the same order as you sent them. Then versioning could be chaotic. If you have different versions of message formats, then they could conflict each other and you have to have a good change management in order to tackle this versioning chaos. The data format must be exactly defined, even down to the last bit. Otherwise, you have problems. Think of Unicode versus ASCII encoding, Little Indian versus Big Indian. How are doubles and floats encoded? Do you use 32-bit integers or 64-bit integers? 